Happening right now, an icon who represented the Mardi Gras Indian culture in New Orleans is being honored. The city council will commemorate the passing of Big Chief Tootie Montana. The podium inside council chambers will be dedicated to the late Chief of Chiefs. WDSU's Casey Grand is live at City Hall with more on the meaning and the history behind this commemorative meeting, Casey. Well, Camille, for years there was a history of tension between the New Orleans Police Department and the Mardi Gras Indians here in the city. But Tootie Montana was very vocal in efforts to end that strife. It was in 2005 that at the age of 82, he was actually inside council chambers and suffered a heart attack while inside the chambers speaking about stopping the violence between the Mardi Gras Indian tribes and improving their relationships with police. In his honor, the city proclaimed the first day of carnival as Big Chief Allison Tootie Montana Day. And today, just over 10 years after the June 27th meeting in council chambers, the Criminal Justice Committee is holding a special meeting with the Mardi Gras Indian community. To together, they are commemorating their struggle for respect and recognition, paying tribute to Big Chief Montana, and celebrating the healing, progress, and reconciliation over the recent years. The Indians asked for this meeting several years ago to bring closure to the meeting that happened on June 27, 2005, because it, of course, ended very abruptly. Um, and so um, there's just been a feeling among them that they didn't get to finish that meeting and finish saying what they needed to say. And they had um, met for weeks, is my understanding, to prepare for that meeting. Mm -hmm. So um, today, hopefully, we'll have that closure. And Councilmember Susan Guidry says that uh, there hasn't been any issue really between the police department and the Mardi Gras Indians to, the day, to this date. Uh, she has only heard of only minimal complaints and hasn't heard any in the past two years. On your side, I'm Casey Ferran, WDSU News.